Hey people of the VC, it's Andy Cloudy Mal there with another competition uh, response video, this time for Backwards Metal. Jared, um, celebrating 220 subscribers, or certainly was 220 subscribers when he launched the competition. I think it's probably near 240 now. Uh, channel is going fast, Jared, and well deserved. Um, if you don't know Jared, um, great metalhead. Uh, never miss a video of his. Um, in fact, his channel was growing and growing, and at one point uh, he just disappeared off the face of uh, YouTube, and I was, I was mortified. I was looking for him all over the place. I, um, a few people posted videos asking where Jared was. I, I ended up lighting a candle to Jared, putting it in my window and staring at it every night, hoping one day he'll come back. My wife used to come in and just say, you know, I've, I've got to let it go. He's gone. But I refused to believe that Jared would leave us. And lo and behold, as quick as he disappeared, he was back again one day with no subscribers, and he soon built up his uh, his base again. So um, I, for one, am glad you're back, Jared. I thoroughly enjoy your channel, and um, and good luck with the uh, the next 220 or 400,000, however many you get. So Jared's competition. Pick five albums, or you said top five albums, um, your top five albums of uh, bands who have changed their vocalists. So top five, five albums by those bands that change their vocalists with the, the new vocalist in. Um, there was some there were some quick wins here that, that sprung to mind, but um, I was out, I was in the US last week actually um, with, with work, um, and I saw Jared's competition. Um, video late. Uh, in fact, what I saw first, I must have seen about 10 or 15 entries already posted. And I kind of figured by the time I got to do mine, most of my easy pickings, um, so uh, what, ACDC, Anthrax, probably Rainbow, Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, ones like that would have already uh, gone. And of course, the obvious one. Uh, being um, Iron Maiden. So what I figured I'd do is I would discount those bands and um, see what else I could find in my collection and show to you. So these aren't necessarily in any order, but they're albums I all uh, I, I do enjoy. They're not just here because they've got a, a second singer on them. So um, as I said, uh, Iron Maiden was the obvious choice and Bruce Dickinson, so definitely no Iron Maiden, Bruce Dickinson. So the first choice I have for you is um, Bruce Dickinson. Uh, but with Samson, yeah, see what I did there. So, original singer for Samson was uh, Paul Samson, although um, Bruce Dickinson, I think, was um, credited on the first album. He didn't actually sing on it. I think it was a reissue that did some bonus tracks, but uh, on Head On, uh, the first album that he recorded with them, Bruce Bruce, lead vocals. And uh, just a picture of Thunderstick on the front. So that's my uh, first one, Bruce Dickinson, but with Samson, not Maiden. Next up, um, I imagine a few people. So of all those, all those other entries that you've had, I've not actually watched any of them because I didn't want to. Um, I don't want to be disheartened by everybody showing the albums I'm probably going to show now. So um, I'm going to enjoy going back and, and watching some of those uh, after this. But the next one I came up with was uh, Metal Church. Uh, of course, Mike Howe is on uh, Blessing in Disguise, but uh, originally David Wayne was on uh, vocals. And uh, I kind of like both versions of Metal Church uh, with Wayne and, uh, and Howe in, but I do really like uh, this album. Uh, just in disguise. This is a promo copy that I've had uh, for a couple of years now. So that's number two. Number three, uh, I don't know if it's an obvious choice. Like, I guess a few people probably would have selected uh, Halloween. Um, of course, Kai Hansen was uh, sort of lead guitarist and vocalist on um, Walls of Jericho, uh, first album. Uh, and then Michael Kisk. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Kiss? Kiss K? Kiss? I don't know. But uh, he took over um, the vocals on the uh, Keeper of the Seven Keys, Keeper of the Seven Keys Part 2, 
and uh, kind of give them the, um, the their own uh, style. And I think they went from strength to strength after these until obviously uh, Hanson and uh, had left the band. But uh, there we go. Keeper of the Sevens Keys Part One. Uh, do I like this more than Part Two? I don't know really. I flip between the two, um, but I thought I would uh, pick this one up and show today. Next up, the uh, NVJ Malfstein. So, could you, I guess you could argue he's a solo artist, but he, he did have a band and he did have uh, a number of singers. And uh, Mark Bowles is the uh, singer on uh, the vocalist on this album, probably one of the. Um, least famous vocalist he had at the time. So you had uh, uh, Jeff Scott Soto and um, Jolyn Turner, um, probably a bit more famous, but uh, this was my introduction to Ingrid Malmsteen. I've always loved the album. Uh, songs like You Don't Remember, I'll Never Forget, Liar, Queen in Love, um, Fury, Fire, Magic Mirror, uh, Dark Ages, all good stuff. So great album. Not sure if this counts. Is it a band? I don't think this comes under the Ingvi Malmsteen Rising Force, even, um, although I think it might even be listed under Land Discogs. But uh, there we go. It's a different singer from the first album, so I think it deserves to be in. And look at that cover as well. You know, heavy metal, killer guitar pose versus three headed dragon. Can't get much more metal than that. So that was number four. Number five, I have gone for uh, MSG with uh, Assault Attack and um, Graham Bonnet on vocals. Uh, original vocalist on the first two studio albums on the Live at Budokan was um, Gary Barden. Uh, chain vocalist here. Obviously, Graham Bonnet didn't last long because he had a, uh, a little stage accident that got him fired. Um, but um, yeah, also this was this was kind of the album that really turned me on to MSG. Uh, to be honest with you, um, like always, like Graham Bonnet's vocals. I saw him play. Um, he's got his own band now, funnily enough, called the uh, Graham Bonnet Band. And I saw them play in Edinburgh recently, and it, it was pretty good. He's he's kind of showing his age now. It was a small, sweaty club, and he was feeling the heat. And uh, I don't think his voice sounded fantastic, but. He piled through numbers from uh, MSG, Rainbow, Alcatraz. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a good gig. But uh, yeah, Michael Schenker Group, Assault Attack is my number five. I had a couple of honorary mentions as well, which I thought about putting in the, um, in the top five. But the top five I chose because I also had um, albums by the original uh singers that were in the band um or albums that, that came before but two that i would have chosen because i like i like them and i like the vocalists they've got now though they weren't original were uh crocus i went for one vice at a time because this was the first crocus album i really kind of connected with i did have uh, as a ballroom blitz um all the blitz um beforehand but um greg the egg turned me onto this one um, we were digging in, in Birmingham, England, and uh, he asked the guy to put this on the shop, and the guy put on Long Stick Goes Boom, full volume in the shop, and I was sold straight away. So uh, do like uh, Crocus, and this is so. This is Mark uh, Mark Storis on um, vocals, and the original was is it the bass player Chris von Froh? <laughs> Not very good in my pronunciation today. But uh, he was uh, so Mark Storis kind of took over in the in the eighties, and I've not heard any of the seventies Crocus to to compare. So I don't know if it's better or not, but that's certainly my sort of style. And the other one I, I would have chosen was uh, Onslaught um, in Search of Sanity with Steve Grimmett on vocals. Um, this is all I have from Onslaught on uh, on vinyl. The original singers I think were uh, Paul Mahoney and Cy. Keeler on the previous albums, which again I, I've not heard, so I couldn't compare and say this was um, better. But as I say, I, I do like this, and it is a uh, Steve Grimmett was a, a follow-up uh, vocalist, uh, not in the original lineup. 
So there you go. Um, great competition, Jared. I see you've got a ton of entries. Fantastic that so many people are supporting you. Uh, look forward to seeing the uh, the draw. And um, yeah, um, sign up to Jared's channel above and below usual. Uh, usual links and things above and below, and um, I've not done an update or 80s. I've not done any album update in the 80s. All, all I seem to be doing is competition entries at the moment, which I'm really enjoying doing. I hope you're enjoying watching them. Um, subscribe if you like, like if you like, and if you're that one person that's disliked the last three, knock yourself out. Anyway, cheers. See you later, guys.